Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Today in front of us here we have our Ruger PC9 carbine. Just so you guys can see really quickly, there's no mag. There's nothing in there. You may not be able to see from there, but the gun is unloaded. So today we're going to go ahead and start by swapping some stuff out with this weapon. Uh, I did an earlier video, kind of gave you guys a quick little overview about some stuff that I had purchased for this weapon that I wanted to go ahead and swap out and change. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to install this uh, PC9 combat rail is what it's called. There we go, the PC9 combat rail 12 inch. We're going to go ahead and install this. This is our first thing we're going to go ahead and uh, swap out on this weapon here. So it does come, they do send some instructions, I read over them, they seem pretty self-explanatory, uh, nothing super difficult or anything like that, and obviously there you go, lighting with the plastic doesn't work the best, but hey, we'll see it anyways. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to, uh, we're going to need to lock the uh, bolt back, there we go, as you guys can see it's locked back, we're going to flip this upside down here. That works, that's enough. Also, we're using our uh, Tipton uh, Ultra Gun Vice, which I've used several times and works really well. Again, we have uh, multiple different things we're going to do to this weapon, so this is going to be a series. And after uh, each thing we do, we will go ahead and take it out and test it and ensure everything runs properly. All right, so I kind of already fastened it down, but basically it's telling us to look for the uh, factory handguard retaining screw, which is uh, right here. And, um, and we're going to go ahead and remove it. They do give you the tool, which is nice, to go ahead and remove it. There you go. Put that back down just so everything kind of stays nice and flush. I'm just going to set this to the side. But if you guys haven't seen, so this is the old one. Now, uh, it's key. This did not come out on its own. I, maybe, I guess, I could have uh, removed the, um, the factory screw, but they specifically say do not use it because they do send you with one for uh, the the new um, the new handguard. So basically, now they're just telling you to go ahead, and you're just gonna see if I can. So we're just going to go ahead and slide this over. Very, very, very simple. And basically they're just telling you to um, align the, uh, the Midwest Industries uh, handguard with the, uh, the locking lever slot, which it's done. Pretty, pretty darn simple. Now this is the provided uh, screw that they give and they're just basically saying drop it in. You know, you just want to make sure that you are aligning it properly. Now they, t they say it's tighten it to 55 uh, inch pounds, so let me grab my torque wrench. Alright, this torque wrench is actually from Vortex Optics, so we're going to go ahead and um, do this here. Alright, and we have it set there at uh, 55 pounds. Or 55 inch pound, as I should say. Ugh. 55 inch pound, I should I should say. And that's essentially it from this point. Um, from there, the next step basically says, you know, verify that um, moving the lever will remove the barrel still, which it does. There you go. Close up there, if you guys can see. And that's it. Very, very simple. We've done our first uh, 
swap out here. So we went ahead again, um, we took off the, so on the factory handguard, all we had was a 1913 um, rail right here, which was the only thing I was offering it. So by swapping it out to the Midwest Industries um, handguard, you know, basically we, we lose no functionality with the weapon. The weapon still functions the way it's supposed to, the takedown aspect of it, but we're gaining, you know, tons of functionality with it, with this new Midwest Industries handguard. This comes with eight M-lock slides, so it gives you the ability to put on probably more than you would really ever need to put on this weapon. Um, but very, very nice. I like it. It was extremely simple thing to do. Um, I think for us, we probably took a little bit longer because I'm making a video, but if you did it yourself, you're probably looking at literally maybe two, three minutes tops if uh, you've done stuff like this before. And if you haven't, maybe five to seven minutes. Very simple thing to do. Um, Ruger is, uh, or has been for, I uh, can't quite remember how long now, I don't know if it's six months or longer, but they have been making the PC carvings now uh, with this type of handguard, so you can buy it like that, you don't have to swap it out, but at the time I purchased it, it did not have it, and then when I saw it, I was like, I, I want to swap it out, I like this a lot better because I do want to put a light on it, and you know, the ability for maybe something else, I do have a uh, red dot that I'm going to put on this and we're going to swap out something else I can't recall I think two or three more things we're going to do to this weapon here but again for today we were swapping out the uh, original handguard with uh, Midwest Industries uh, Ruger PC9 handguard very very happy with it very very simple task to do instructions from them were wonderful um, probably one of the uh, most simplistic instructions that I have received in a box uh, where you, I believe there's a few videos online. This will be another video. But um, I believe there are a few videos online and you don't even need to go to the video where sometimes you get instructions and you go, I don't understand this. So you start Googling or YouTubing for the video. But again, I like it. As you guys can see, very, very nice. Sorry if the camera's, again, not focusing. It's one of those things I really need to uh, work on, but I like it. Looks very nice. Definitely digging it. Very happy. Very simple. Uh, I still really enjoy this weapon. We're going to take this weapon out now that we've uh, put this on. We'll take it out with fire, see how everything functions, how everything works. Um, I'm really confident that uh, there won't be any type of issue whatsoever. But, you know, that's why we take things out and test them after we uh, swap and, and do stuff. Now, um, I wouldn't do any... I did hear one recommendation where I wouldn't put any Loctite or anything on this because, uh, from my understanding, you don't need to. And if you want the ability to swap it out again or put the original handguard back on, um, again, you're using a... I use the torque wrench to do it. I have faith that it's that it's secure down there. I didn't even feel as tight as I put it. It didn't even feel that tight with the original hand guard and the screw and yet that never came um, loose or anything to that effect. So, all right, there we go you guys. We went ahead and we did our first um, our first swap out on this weapon. I'm trying, sorry, 100, 101 things going through my head, things I need to take care of today. But we went ahead and we did our first little uh, swap out on this weapon. Uh, more to come, so look forward to that. Again, this is going to be like a little mini-series. Uh, we are going to do uh, three or four more things to this weapon. Each time we do something, we'll take it out, create a video, uh, run some rounds through it just to verify everything's uh, going good. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. You guys have a good day.